I'd like to ask Elizabeth Orients to join me at the stage. Elizabeth was last year's winner of the Schmidt Award. And first, a few words about the Schmidt Award from the founder of the award, Mr. Jeff Lewis. Are you listening? Paul and Edith Schmidt were residents of the city of, of Evansville, Indiana, and were the parents of Paula Schmidt Lewis, wife of board member Jeff Lewis. Paul and Edith were both retired educators, and they long served as role models to young people by devoting their lives to service, to God, country, family, church, school, friends, and neighbors. They selflessly donated time, money, labor, wisdom, and concern to their communities. They are excellent examples of lives based on stewardship and service. The Schmidt Stewardship Award is given annually in their honor to a junior student chosen by the faculty of University High School and includes a $250 check from Jeff and Paula Lewis. So for this year's recipient, this year's recipient of the Schmidt Award has been devoted to service since she was a little girl. In elementary school, she volunteered at Gleaner's, Gleaner's Food Bank and with her younger sister, organized a book drive for Riley Hospital. On her application for admission to university, because I can still look at what you wrote all those years ago, she was asked to write about some memorable moments from her school year. And she wrote, at our school we have a program called Special Friends where an older student gets paired with a younger student. And once a month they meet and play together. Last year my special friend was a first grader named Soren, and she was new to my school. I tried to surprise her with little gifts and notes to make her feel special. I always loved seeing her smile. In her quest to keep university's new students smiling, she founded Unify University at the end of her freshman year, a program that pairs a new student with a current student, and her work has been appreciated by new students who arrive on that very first day of school to find their lockers decorated and to see at least one familiar face. She has worked tirelessly for our admission efforts, volunteering at open house events and prospective parent breakfasts, and speaking at numerous <laughs> events. She is a dedicated member of our community service club and has led groups to volunteer at the Julian Center, at Special Olympics events, and the Riley Dance Marathon, to name just a few. Outside of school, she is learning so much from her work at the Monon Center with Down Syndrome children and young adults. In 2013, she volunteered for over 75 hours with that program alone. Last summer, she represented university at the Hugh O'Brien Leadership Conference at Butler University. She went on to attend the National Conference in Chicago, and this year has been chosen to serve as a staff member at the conference. She was so inspired by her experience at Hobie that she conducted an assembly about what she had learned, but, but that wasn't enough for this girl. She wanted all of her classmates to benefit from what she had experienced, and she single-handedly arranged for a guest speaker whom she had met at the Hobie Conference to address our school community. Mike Hagan will like this. She negotiated his speaking fee and helped raise the funds to bring that motivational speaker to all of you. This year's Schmidt Award goes to Melissa Kraft. <laughs> what Gandhi meant when he said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others.